Hello. All right, so today we're going to start with two exercises to help strengthen your pelvic floor. Now you can do this when you're just laying around watching Netflix or TV or anything like that. Um, you can do it with a mat, without a mat. You could do it on your sofa if you wanted to. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do it with a mat today. Um, we're going to just do two exercises to start. Really focus on connecting that breathing with your diaphragm and your pelvic floor. I talk about that a lot. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started. So find a comfy space, follow me along right now. Carefully lay down on the ground. Once again, you wanna start from that nice neutral spine, keeping the rib cage closed. We're gonna make sure that we're not arching our back. You really wanna draw everything nice and tight. You're gonna automatically feel that engage into your pelvic floor. Pressing your feet firmly into the floor, all 10 toes down, drawing those abs in just a little bit deeper. When you focus on your inhale, you're going to inhale on the easy and exhale on the hard. So you're just going to start with your arms by your side. We're just going to start by gently opening and closing one leg. You're just going to isolate one leg to start. I'm going to start with my right leg. So you're going to carefully draw your abs in. Inhale to open and exhale to close. And you're going to feel that belly button drop down into the floor and up into your ribcage again. Deep inhale to open, exhale to close. Good, try to connect that breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, you're immediately gonna feel that into your pelvic floor. It's nice and gentle. So let's go ahead and do that same movement. We're gonna do it to the right and the left, 10 times each side. Here we go. Take those shoulders away from the ears, and abs in. Deep inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good, as you're drawing in, feel that inner thigh connection with your pelvic floor. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Halfway there, again, inhale. Find your longest next to exhale. Good. Maybe regroup, pull those abs in, ribcage closed a little bit more. Inhale. And exhale. One more on this side, inhale. And exhale, close. Good, go ahead and start with the left side. Here we go. Inhale, open left. Exhale, close. Another thing you wanna focus on, inhale, open, is keeping that pelvis nice and square. Good, you don't wanna to try to rock with it. If you find your body starting to twist, pull everything back to center. Good, deep. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Just a few more, inhale. And exhale, find your longest neck yet. Inhale. And exhale. Four more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, draw your abs in. Feel them moving from your palm. You can place your palm on top of your abs. To focus on that breath ab connection. Good, one more right here. And inhale, and exhale. Good, just come to a resting position right here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is a bridge. These are very common in Pilates, bar, a lot of different exercises. Really great for strengthening that pelvic floor, finding that connection from your legs, your inner thigh, pelvic floor into your core without putting pressure into your neck and shoulders. Really with this one, you wanna focus on driving those heels into the floor and think of pressing your knees forward whenever you lift. You're gonna to try to feel a nice stretch on the top of your quads and then you're gonna really feel that work into your glutes, hamstrings, pelvic floor, inner thigh, and core, your lower abs. So that's really where you wanna focus all of your energy. We're just gonna do 10 lifts up, 10 lowers down. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a nice proper form for bridge before we get started. And then we'll do 10 sets. And then once we're done with those 10 lifts and lowers, we'll just hold it up for a nice isometric hold to find that deep breath. All right, so 
Again, you're gonna have your feet parallel hip width apart, heels underneath your knees, palms into the floor. So this is just a practice one. We're just gonna lift those hips up nice. Make sure we have our straightest line from our knees all the way to our shoulders. We wanna make sure that we're not pressing into your neck. So you don't wanna arch your hips, right? You don't want that deep arch. You wanna draw those abs in, feel that shift pressing those knees forward. That's really gonna feel that engagement into your lower back and your hips. So that's where you really wanna focus on, driving those knees forward, pressing into your heels, relaxed upper body. Again, you wanna inhale on the easy, exhale on the hard. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Here we go, 10 more. Just inhale up and exhale lower. Again, up. And lower. Good. Three. Straightest line, abs in. Four, you can place your hands on top of your hip bones to feel that straight line. Again, six. Good. Seven, almost there. Here's eight. Nine. Good, you're gonna hold this last one up for an isometric hold. Here we go. Hold it up. Option, reach your arms towards the ceiling. Feel the shoulder blades drop back and down. Lengthen the neck, press those knees forward. Here we go, hold one, two. Keep breathing, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, carefully lower those hips. Draw the knees into your chest really quick. Hang on here for a second, little stretch. You can rock your knees side to side. And you can also draw little circles. Again, try to connect that breath. So try to exhale, draw those knees into your chest. Inhale as they circle away. Go ahead and reverse that circle. Good. And carefully grab behind the thigh. Just rock up to a seated position really quick. Good. So just focus on these exercises a couple of times a day and see if you notice a difference over a week. You can do these every day, once a day, twice a day, whatever you're feeling. If you notice your pelvic floor is getting a little too tight, hold back on these exercises and focus on some more yoga stretching. A great pose to stretch in to help relax your pelvic floor is child's pose. We'll go over some of those other yoga exercises to help relax your pelvic floor if it's feeling a little too tight in other videos. But if you need that extra strengthening and you want to focus on your breath engaging, your diaphragm, your abs, and your pelvic floor all working as one unit, this is a great exercise for beginners. So I hope you guys try it and enjoy it and check out our next video for more yoga exercises and stretching to help relax the pelvic.